So this is going to be our second art display piece, magazine holder um, for the RV. Now, I love to use things in different ways, upcycle things like that for doing the trailer on the cheap, if you wish, uh, for some of the decorative pieces and keep this stuff from going to the landfill. So this was one of two louver doors that we actually found at our recycle yard for free. And we brought them home and took off the little things that were on the ends. Now I will touch those up, um, but we took the little um, metal pieces off that allowed the hinges to take um, for them to swing originally. And they're not perfect, but that's totally fine uh, because I think that adds a little bit of fun to them. And one of the things we're trying to do is use a lot of things we already have to do this renovation in our trailer. So we had, we got these for free. We've already done one and put it in the trailer. This is the second one. And we are using the same Sherman Williams Infinity Angels Touch paint that we used for the cabinets and a few other things, trim and stuff like that in the trailer. And we sanded it down lightly, uh, cleaned it up. And then we've put, this is our second coat of the Sherman Williams. Now I probably could have gotten away with one, but there were a few places that were still showing through that were kind of from the old dingy sort of off-white color that this was originally. So we did a second coat. And then what we're gonna do is use these different stickers that we have for scrapbooking. And like we did with the other one, we're gonna decorate this one, put some words or some pictures, but whatever you have. So if you have kids, you could have them help you with this project. What a great way to teach them about upcycling and things like that. So you could use more like kitty kind of stickers. Um, if you're going for a more elegant look, if you wish, you could use some of the, you know, gold or silver stickers, whatever goes with your theme. Um, and then to mount them to the wall, we're gonna use these um, Velcro command strips. So there's two of them, they Velcro together. You can take it off the wall, which is super fun. So you could take it down um, and move it or whatever you'd like to do. Um, so we're gonna use those to mount it. And we bought a giant package of those. So we've used those already for several things. These were stickers we already had. The paint came from when we did the cabinets and the trim and the base in the trailer, and this was free. So essentially, if you look at all of this, you can think of it as one, one or two things. This was either totally free because, you know, we already had everything and these were free, or you can think, well, okay, if this can of paint costs X amount and that brush costs X amount and those stickers were originally this much and da da da, and then you break it up into how many projects this is done, it is literally pennies to do this project. Super fun. Now we have some clips that we got on sale at Target. We've already used a bunch of them in the trailer. Um, so we're going to add some of those to this one and mount it. And this will be another art piece. And we'll show you how that works out in a little while once this is done. Now the other thing we're going to do with this is because it's going to be in the trailer and we're going to be clipping and unclipping things, we're going to actually spray it with a clear coat once this is completely dry and give it a little bit of a shinier finish to it because um, we like it like that and it protects it a little more and then it'll be done. So this is just one of many ideas that you could use these for uh, because these louver things get thrown away. I've also used the slats from a crib, things like that. You can turn it on its side, paint it, use that as a magazine rack. Um, you know, there's just so many things you can do with these instead of having them thrown in a landfill. Okay, so we'll let this dry and show you how it looks when we put it in the trailer.